serious. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah. Sunny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in Hull today for the open workouts with me. I've got trainer and former boxer Jamie Moore. How are you? I'm alright, mate. Yeah. yeah, good, thank you. Um, obviously, Luke's in the ring now. You just got out with Tommy. Uh, big fight coming up against Raheem Noble. Um, how's he looking? Yeah, looking great. I think um, it's never easy with a change of opponent late on. Style wise, the, you know, Kofi Ace and Raheem Noble are nowhere near the same. But uh, he's adaptable, Tommy, and, and he's, he's experienced now. He's fought all different styles of opponents. And, uh, and Raheem Noble, you know, he's, he's a decent prospect, Southern Area champion. He's inexperienced. And, uh, and, and, I, and I feel Tommy's a level or two above him, talent wise as well. So, uh, so that should be, make the difference on Saturday. But you never know. You never know. And, Obviously, Tommy's got a game plan which we've set out, and uh, half the battle sometimes is getting him to stick to it. When he does it, he does it great. When he goes off it, he goes right off it. So, uh, so we'll see. And that's what makes him exciting, you know. And that's what makes him good to watch. But uh, it's no good for me as a trainer; it gives me a heart attack. Obviously, he's never one to turn down any sort of challenge, whatever comes. I mean, they said three years ago today, he had that absolute barnstorm yeah, of a yeah. fight where he was up, down, up, down, yeah. and ended up getting the decision. I mean, not one of them on Saturday, you hope. No, obviously not. I mean, you, you don't want too many, too many of them in your career. Otherwise, you end up re retired early like me. But, uh, but I mean, that was a that was a good learning fight for him. And and the lessons what he took from that. Sometimes he's going to practice, and sometimes he hasn't. He's still made the same mistakes again. Um, this camp in particular, though, before I've been saying to him or mentioning some of the stuff what he needs to do or the, the sort of mistakes he can't make, he's saying it to me first, which he, which is a first. Yeah. So. Uh, so that to me tells me that he started to take it all on board. Instead of relying on me for information, he's logged it now and he's taken it on board and it's becoming second nature. So he's been sparring brilliant, everything in this camp has gone perfectly. So, you know, fingers crossed he can carry that form over because no one's seen the best of him yet. And that's the sad thing is, you know, there's a lot of fighters like that as well where you see, you see good fighters in the gym and they don't carry that form over to the ring because they let the pressure get to them or they can't control their emotions. And I hope to God one day, Tommy, and if you can do it on Saturday night, it'll be something impressive because the way he's looked in the gym, he's absolutely un unbelievable. So it'll be a good fight either way because obviously I've seen Rakeem quite a lot because he fights down in Yorko yeah. in London. So yeah. I've seen him myself and, uh, and I, know, I know he's a good fighter, you know, there's no doubt about it. Um, it's just that I feel that Tommy's coming into his peak now and, uh, and, and he'll be too experienced and too good for him. But that's not to say that's not a good fighter. Exactly, yeah. Well, I look forward to it. But I know you've got the kids here, you want to shoot off and get some Nando's yeah, yeah. or something, so Thank I'll let you, you back on. on but, um, Jamie, I'll catch up with you soon. All right, so